everybody, and welcome to another edition of Web of Weird. This is uh, episode 39 uh, by my own uh, count. <laughs> Seems like a lot. Uh, we've not done one of these for a while, but my name is David Farrell. I'm your co-host for today, and I'm joined by my wonderful friend, brother, medicine man, the one and only... Pete Jackson Maine. Right, that's the guy right there. That's him <laughs> on the other side of the screen. Bro, how are you, man? It's been a while since we've done one of these, and uh, yeah, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell is going on? And yeah, other side of the screen, other side of the world, which is always, right. which is completely, um, you know, kind of does my head in, but it's wonderful. Right. Yeah, what's going on? Um, I know I kind of reminded of a quote from Leonard Cohen. He was on stage, I think, at what, I think it was live in Dublin. It's on, you get a CD of it somewhere. And he's telling this story about all his life journey and all the things that have happened to him. And then he goes, but somehow cheerfulness kept breaking through. <laughs> and <laughs> I feel a bit like that, you know, I'm watching everything go to shit. Uh, but somehow I can't, you know, I, I'm managing to sort of stay on the right side of that and 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 sort of just really look after my little pool, um, my little right. rock pool and, and feel OK. So, yeah, uh, I'm good. Well, thank you for that little uh, intro there. We are going to talk for the first 10 minutes here on our YouTube channel and then we're going to switch and the rest of the show will be available on our Rumble channel. And those of you who followed us before know that we started doing this a little while back. We then had to take a, a hiatus due to me falling off a ledge and having to go to hospital uh, a few months back. And uh, I will talk a little bit about that uh, at some point during the show too. But uh, before we do switch over to the other channel, bro, we're just going to set up the stall so that people have an idea of what we're going to be talking about. This, this is our, I would say, annual solstice show. I'm pretty sure that we always do a show for what is in the Northern Hemisphere, summer solstice, and in the Southern Hemisphere, winter solstice, otherwise known as cancer solstice. Uh, this year, we have a very interesting double whammy in that we have the solstice on the 20th of June with full peak uh, sun energy. And then the following day, we have a full moon in Capricorn, the first of two in a row, which is a little unusual. So I think that's also interesting, bro, because part of today's show is going to be talking about opposites, uh, polarity, duality, uh, and why we're perceiving some of the things that we are perceiving in the world. And we're going to try and tackle some difficult issues, which is why we're going to go to Rumble to do this. Um, we don't want to trigger people uh, unnecessarily uh, without cause um because that's not what we're about but we do feel like we want to talk about a few things that perhaps are holding us back in some ways and uh, we're also going to poke a little bit of fun at some of the uh, the bad actors because we can't help ourselves but in general bro we made a decision a little while back that much as we've enjoyed poking fun at the the bad actors we're going to start to try to take things in a more new uh, positive direction right uh, as we say bon voyage to those uh, jokers and we've got quite a few <laughs> on our tv right now so um yeah, um, that's kind of setting the stall out. Anything you wish to say in response to that, bro, before we kind of move on a little bit? Um, no, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, we, we've done our usual sort of catch up before the show, right. so to speak, and we know roughly which direction we're going in. What is it? Thieves to the right of me, jokers to the left. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. Something like that. You know, the old, yeah. um, I can't remember who the guy is now. He did Baker Street. Steve Miliband? Uh, no. No, no, not no. Uh, the Steve Miller band actually is interesting because he's he's in the news at the moment. Did you see that Eminem used um, Abracadabra for his latest um, um, single that he put out? <laughs> I I didn't. Is that That's him heralding great... his magical return from the abyss? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and for my next trick, or you know, it was like, and actually, it's a really good track. But everybody got really upset because of um, nicking you know a classic Steve Miller track, and then Steve Miller comes in and just says, "No, bro, you go for it. You know, you, you're good. You know, I, I'm." I'm enjoying your stuff. So it was, yeah, it's quite funny. But again, this kind of polarity thing going on. Oh, no, that can't be, you know, the woke crew, if you like, coming up and saying, no, it's not okay. You can't do that. You know, that's a classic track and you, you've just ruined it. And uh, and actually, do we really care all that much, you know, about our little sacred cows? This is the other thing, isn't it? You know, a lot of, you know, the good, bad thing we were talking about before was like, you're, you know, I'm good, you're bad. He's terrible, mm -hmm. the rest of it. It's just like, because they're treading on our sacred cows, if you like, then there are things that can't be said. And if you say them, then you're automatically bad. Uh, you know, And I think both of us, to some extent, might be sort of sitting here thinking, I've had enough of that. <laughs> Don't, well, yeah, I mean, I it's kind of... Play that game. Yeah, we've talked about this a lot, right, over the years of being friends and our observations of the world around us. And even before we jumped on the record button today, we were debating what to talk about Uh 
And I've largely eliminated woke from my life. Uh, it doesn't really exist in quite the same way in Mexico. And I haven't really seen anybody for months anyway. <laughs> so uh, I only get to experience woke if I choose to. And uh, sorry for any of the wokesters out there who might be offended by this, but we've been living in a very polarized world for a while because of this divisive quality that is coming. And that is going to be the main focus of, of our show when we switch to Rumble. But in the final few minutes before we do that, also... I just want to talk about the energy of solstice and why we're going to be talking about these things as the sort of the final part of the scene setting. So traditionally in the Northern Hemisphere at this time of year, and of course, uh, dips to our colleagues in the South, but um, this is where we are right now. We live in this part of the world. And so we're going to focus on the energy that's affecting us. And when we have the summer solstice, it's the peak of the solar energy. It's the moment where the light is at its fullest extent. At least that's the theory. Uh, plus on top of that, uh, our sun is going absolutely bananas and pumping all kinds of coronal mass ejections, X-class flares, geostorms, and whatever else it can think of at us right now, all of which uh, I think is really great, and I'll talk about that later too. But also we're still passing through the photon belt, and there is a lot of light streaming onto the planet and thus into us. And as uh, we have talked about before, and many other uh, erudite people as well, is that when you have a lot of light frequency, whatever dense frequencies there are cannot exist in the same space, including uh, our own physical and energetic fields, which is why we are feeling perhaps on one level that uh, what is happening is the rising levels of toxicity seemingly spewing out a lot to people, particularly their mouths and their actions in the world around us is because they are struggling with this increase in the light. Now, most people would think that sounds a little strange. Surely when there's more light, everything gets better. It does. But you have to deal with the things that are preventing the light from coming in. And that's a little tricky. And so uh, I think that that's going to be uh, sort of the cornerstone, Pete, for moving forward in this conversation when we switch over in a minute. But also, uh, it's also a little bit of a link to the wonderful new series that we've just started, which is the video plant transmissions. And we carefully selected a plant, or it really selected itself, and we just had to be open to that, to talk about this, uh, which is the wonderful St. John's Wort. Uh, if there was one plant that really epitomizes, I would suggest, the solstice and the energy of the solstice, it is St. John's Wort, a plant that by some definition, is an extension of sunlight. So, Pete, anything to say about that before we jump channels? Well, yeah, because um, St John's work traditionally blooms on the 21st of June, which is a few days away. Mm -hmm. But um, the standing joke in the UK at the moment is that we've got a page 404 on summer. Summer is simply not available in your location, I'm afraid, you know, because it's just not happening, man. The, the sun sort of breaks out weakly and feebly and tries its best to sort of you know radiate its blessings onto us and the next moment it's clouded rainy we've had i don't think there's been many days this year so far in the uk when it hasn't rained and i don't know whether st john's is going to make it for the 21st of june this year i think everything's you know to some extent i mean we've got huge burgeoning growth because of all the wet but i don't but many things are really really far behind so, um, and I also think, you know, the, the sort of thought that comes along uh, on the back of that inevitably and with, with the risk of sort of going a bit dark for a moment is that um, the blocking out of the light, because I think this weather pattern is actually artificial. I think it's to do with geoengineering. Uh -huh. It's completely deliberate. And, you know, um, I, I, I can get very upset about that because I quite, I really enjoy the sunlight. I expect to see it. And a lot of people do, actually. Things change. People relax when the sun is out. And they are True. deliberately blocking it out. It's it's a scheme, and Bill Gates warned us he was Hold going on, to do dude, it. We're still on YouTube. We're still on YouTube. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> you know, well, the big friendly giant warned yes. us that he was going to do it, <laughs> and he has. And here we are, sitting freezing our nuts off, actually. Oh, on you know what is it? The fifteenth of June. It's Something really... is not quite right, and we no, will pick it's that not. apart in a minute <laughs> yeah i've been hearing reports about all of that uh and weirdly enough uh, nostradamus apparently did predict that during this period that britain would go through some crazy weather patterns which is conveniently another way to justify this if you've got the equipment to do that so <laughs> we'll get into all of that in a minute so we're going to head over now to rumble before we get ourselves into too much trouble and uh, please do follow us over there and if you're not sure about how to find the rumble channel do check it uh below and also, uh, if you like Weber Weird here on YouTube, please do hit like and uh, do subscribe to the YouTube channel where there are often other videos about all kinds of things, including astrology, plants, and whatever else uh, seems to be grabbing our attention at this moment in time. So without further ado, we'll uh, hit the pause button here and see you with the play button on Rumble very, very shortly. <laughs> 